Hello, my name is Gil Roburn, and I'm the presenting author for the work in progress paper exploring VR conference navigation employing audio cues. The problem and rationale behind this research is that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, several activities have shifted from being in person and face to face to being completely online. This transition has provided new difficulty for visually impaired people, and the World Health Organization estimated in 2020 that more than 1 billion people around the world have a near or distance vision impairment. There are technological efforts that continue to take place to improve accessibility and communication platforms, such as Google Meets, Zoom, and Microsoft Teams, amongst others. However, traditional video call tools are lacking in immersion and presence, which can otherwise be found in a virtual reality space. The goal of the research is to take advantage of consumer-level virtual reality equipment that can provide spatial audio in a three-dimensional space with head and hand tracking as well. To make the platform accessible, lots of work was done to understand developing a WebVR virtual conference room for audio-based registration and navigation. This had lots of challenges, but presented a lot of opportunities in WebVR and allowed us to gather preliminary usability perceptions. The use case scenario for this prototype was to navigate a virtual conference in an immersive virtual reality experience using an Oculus virtual reality headset or a non-immersive experience using mouse and keyboard. This was tested through a participant sharing their screen while going through the prototype. I will showcase a bit of the scenario here and talk about the methods used during testing. So I'll just start that. Virtual reality hands. Please follow the sound to pick up your pass and bring it to the registration desk. So the participant would start with the immersive virtual reality experience. They were asked to think aloud as they went through it as the observer would be taking detailed notes on the participant's interactions. The observer was not to intervene or help the participant unless a bug had occurred, preventing them from progressing through the prototype. The participant would restart the scenario if this bug occurred, preventing their progression. So I'll just skip a bit further in here. You may now proceed. Now that I'll let you, you watch through this seat. until you the may end. now follow the sounds to the microphone to ask any questions you may have. Thank you for participating in this test scenario. A copy of your user metrics data has been saved to your computer. So upon completion of the scenario, the participant was to be probed in an interview with a few questions regarding their experience and any follow-up questions if there was a behavior noticed that wanted to be explored more. After the interview, the participant was to send their user metrics data that were saved to their computer to the observer and then fill out a system usability scale and game experience questionnaire. This process is then repeated with the non-immersive virtual reality experience. The preliminary results were gathered through three participants joining the WebVR prototype and going through the use case scenario of registering and finding their seat in a conference through the use of audio cues. The figure on this slide details the scores the participants gave based on their experience in the immersive virtual reality and non-immersive virtual reality experiences. All the participants found the experience usable, however the system usability scale scores were higher with the immersive virtual reality version of the prototype. Regarding engagement, the virtual reality experience had lower scores in tension, challenge, and negative affect. This indicated that the experience was perceived as immersive and enjoyable to use. The non-immersive virtual reality experience using mouse and keyboard had similar responses to the immersive virtual reality with lower scores associated with tension, challenge, and negative affect. In conclusion, this paper presented an immersive and non-immersive virtual reality experience for assisting users in a use case scenario to approach a registration desk and a conference in virtual reality. The participants perceived the immersive virtual reality experience to be more usable, which we believe was the product of the spatial audio speakers on the Oculus Quest virtual reality headset. Virtual movement was smoother in the immersive virtual reality experience due to camera rotations being controlled by head movements in contrast to camera operations being done through keystrokes and mouse movements, as well as headphones being used in the non-immersive virtual reality experience. Future work in this research will focus on adding multi-user support, screen captioning and screen readability to pilot test a virtual gathering and gather a large participant sample. Thank you for listening to the presentation about the work in progress paper exploring VR conference navigation employing audio cues.